हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हर्षम अली खान सो लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव कंप्लीटेड फाइव प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन कैपिटल बजटिंग टू प्रॉब्लम्स आई हैव कंप्लीटेड ऑन एआरआर वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन पीबीपी वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन एनपीवी एंड वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी इंडेक्स तो ऑल दीज मेथड्स आई हैव अप्लाइड इन द लास्ट फाइव प्रॉब्लम्स इन दिस वीडियो 6th एंड 7th टू मोर प्रॉब्लम्स आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू so if you want the perfect knowledge watch all the videos from beginning till end don't skip in between and don't join in between if you want complete command watch till the end every video now before starting the next two problem i expect my viewers to have a print out of the problems which i have given in the link under my description take the screenshot of the points written on the board then i'll explain all the problems in detail now problem number 6 calculate npv net present value from the following data investment in fixed assets 4 lakh and investment in permanent working capital 1 lakh that means the cost of the project is 4 lakh and in order to continue the project there is a permanent working capital required 1 lakh the so new point is regarding permanent working capital so total pv of cash outflow is 4 lakh plus 1 lakh 5 lakh rupees is the pv of cash outflow and you have to make one assumption that permanent working capital will be there only up to the life of the project at the end of the life of the project the permanent working capital will be released so permanent working capital will come in pv of cash outflow and also it will come under pv of cash inflow at the end of the life of the project project cash inflows are first year 1 lakh 80 second year 2 lakh 3 lakh third year 3 lakh fourth year 3 lakh 20000 rate of discounting is 12% that's it so only you have to calculate the npv net present value see calculation of npv initial investment in fixed assets 4 lakh investment in permanent working capital 1 lakh तो टोटल पीवी ऑफ कैश आउटफ्लो इज फाइव लैक दैट इज द पीवी ऑफ कैश आउटफ्लो यू नो द फॉर्मुला फॉर एनपीवी इज पीवी ऑफ कैश इनफ्लो माइनस पीवी ऑफ कैश आउटफ्लो सो पीवी ऑफ कैश आउटफ्लो वी गॉट फाइव लैक नाउ वी नीड पीवी ऑफ कैश इनफ्लो इट इज एज्यूम्ड दैट परमानेंट वर्किंग कैपिटल विल बी रिलीज्ड एट द एंड ऑफ द लाइफ ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट दिस इज द एज्यूम्शन वी हैव टू मेक एवरी टाइम व्हेनेवर परमानेंट वर्किंग कैपिटल इज गिवन it will not be specified in the problem we have to make the assumption so it will come in outflow and also it will come in the inflow meaning that at the end of the life of the project we'll get back our money in permanent working capital now calculation of pv of cash inflow year 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 4 years is given but i have taken 1 2 3 4 again i have taken fourth year life of the project is 4 years at the end of the fourth year we will get the working capital how much is the permanent working capital 1 lakh this 1 lakh rupees will come again in pv of cash inflow at the end of the fourth year and this 3 lakh 20000 is the cash inflow given in the problem fourth year so fourth year we are getting two cash inflows one regular cash inflow 3 lakh 20000 and second release of permanent working capital 1 lakh this is the new point Now PV factors at the rate of twelve percent. So if you want the PV factors, you can refer the table or you can calculate it on the calculator. In the table, first table PV of rupee one, twelve percent. Twelve percent first year it is point eight nine three seven nine seven eight nine three seven nine seven, and then seven one two six three six five zero seven six three six fourth year up to fourth year only, not fifth year. up to fourth year 636 so if you don't have the table you can use the simple calculator the formula already i told you in the last video 1 divided by 1 plus r to the power of n that is the formula for pv factors so here rate is 12% given 12% means 0.12 12% means 0.12 so 1 divided by 1 plus 0.12 
तो 1.12 तो सिंपली आई एम डिवाइडिंग 1 डिवाइडेड बाय 1.12 इज इक्वल टू 0.893 यू कैन सी द कैलकुलेटर 0.893 नाउ सेकंड ईयर इफ यू वांट सिंपली प्रेस इज इक्वल टू 797 सो वी गॉट 797 सिंपली प्रेस इज इक्वल टू विल गेट 712 712 सिंपली प्रेस इज इक्वल टू विल गेट 636 636 so is equal to is equal to is equal to you press you'll get second year third year fourth year first year one divided by 1.12 how do you get this 1.12 1 plus r 1 plus r i'm showing it here uh, 1 divided by 1 plus r to the power of n that is equal to 1 div 1 plus 0 0.12 to the power of 1 that is equal to 1 divided by 1.12 1 plus 0 0.12 is 1.12 if you divide 1 divided by 1.12 you will get 0 0.893 0 0.893 after getting this 0 0.893 you guess you just press is equal to you will get the second year second year value press is equal to you will get the third year press is equal to you will get the fourth year that's it in this way we can calculate the PV factors now multiply cash flow, cash inflow with PV factor to get PV of cash inflow. 180,000 into 0 0.893, 166740. 2 lakh into 0 0.797, 159,400. Like this you calculate. Multiply the cash inflow with PV factors. The total of PV of cash inflow is 8,860. 8,860. This is the total of PV of cash inflow. PV of cash outflow, 5 lakh. So NPV, net present value is equal to PV of cash inflow minus PV of cash outflow. So 5 lakh, oh sorry, 8 lakh 860 minus 5 lakh. 8 lakh 860 minus 5 lakh, 3 lakh 860. That is the NPV, net present value. That's it. Now, see the seventh problem. Problem number seven. A firm is contemplating the projects, the following projects. Which one is better according to you? So two projects are given. Now you have to decide which project is better. After making all calculations, we will come to know whether A project is better or B project is better. Year zero. Year zero means initially at the beginning of the year. So initially we are making an investment of 1 lakh rupees in project A and 1 lakh rupees in project B. That means the initial investment or the cost of the project is 1 lakh. A project cost 1 lakh, B project cost 1 lakh. After investing 1 lakh, we are getting cash inflows at the end of first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year. So 5 year is the life. So cash inflows for A project are 25,000, 24,000, 23, 20, 15,000. These are the cash inflows. And cash inflows for B project 35,000, 20,000, 24, 23, 18. So the cash outflow is same, but cash inflows are different. On the basis of NPV, profitability index and payback period, evaluate the projects assuming a 10% discount rate. So PV factors you should take 10%. We are required to calculate PBP, NPV and PI. Right? Three methods we have to apply on both the projects. First of all, I am going to calculate the PBP. Calculation of PBP separately, project A, project B. Project A, year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The cash inflows are given 25, 24, 23, 20, 20, 15. The annual cash inflows are fluctuating. So we calculate cumulative. We calculate cumulative cash inflows whenever it is fluctuating. The first year 25 same. 25 plus 24, 49. 49 plus 23, 20, 72. 72 plus 20, 92. 92 plus 15, 107. These are the cumulative. Now, what is the PV of cash outflow? In the problem, it is given minus 1 lakh. That means outflow is denoted as minus. So, 1 lakh rupees is the cash outflow. Now, PVP lies between 4th year and 5th year. Now, observe, find out where this 1 lakh rupees will fall. There is no 1 lakh rupees against any year. Up to 4th year, 92,000 is the cumulative. If 5th year, 1 lakh 7,000. We don't require 92, we don't require 107, we require 1 lakh. 
so our PVP lies between fourth year and fifth year because one lakh will lie in between this one fourth year and fifth year so PVP lies between fourth and fifth year amount recovered up to the end of fourth year up to the end of fourth year you can see the amount recovered is 92,000 actually we want to recover one lakh but 92 recovered still how much to be recovered 8,000 1 lakh minus 92 8,000 we have to recover in the fifth year so here amount to be recovered in the fifth year 8,000 right and cash inflow in the fifth year is 15,000 actually cash inflow of the fifth year is 15,000 out of 15,000 we require 8,000 cash inflow of fifth year 15,000 now PVP is equal to 4 years 4 complete years plus 8,000 divided by 15,000 out of 15,000 we need 8,000 so 8,000 by 15,000 0.53 so 4.53 is the PBP for project A similar calculation for project B year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cash inflows are given 35, 20, 24, 23, 18 again fluctuating so we need cumulative so 35, 35 plus 20, 55, 55 plus 24, 79, 79 plus 23, 102, 102 plus 18, 120. Again, the cash outflow is 1 lakh. Now search where 1 lakh will fall. 1 lakh is more than 79, but less than 102. So our PBP lies between 3rd and 4th year. 3rd and 4th year. So amount to be recovered in 4th year, amount recovered up to the end of 3rd year is 79,000. So this 79,000 is recovered up to 3rd year. Amount to be recovered in 4th year. So 1 lakh minus 79,000, 21,000 we want to recover. In which, in which year? 4th year. So what is the cash inflow of 4th year? 23,000. Out of 23,000 we require 21,000. So cash inflow of 4th year is 23,000. So PBP is 3 complete years plus 21,000 plus divide by 23,000. Out of 23, we need 21. So 0 0.91. So 3.91 is the PBP for project B. Ha, so we have calculated PBP of project A, PBP of project B. Now we need to calculate the NPV and PI. Net present value and profitability index. We can calculate separately for project A and project B or we can make the calculations in one table itself. To save the time, I have calculated all cash inflows in one table. So first column year, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now broad column, two broad columns I have prepared. One project A, one project B. Now three sub columns for project A and three sub columns for project B. You can make it in one table or separately also you can do. <clears throat> Now cash inflows are 25, 24, 23, 20, 15 given in the problem for project A. PV of uh, factors are 10%. Already I told you in the previous video also how to find out the PV factors by referring the table or with the help of calculator. Right? If you have not watched the earlier video, it will be difficult for you. So first of all, watch the first video. There I will explain in detail how to find out the PV factors. Either by referring the table, it is directly given or by using the calculator. So 0 0.909, 0 0.826, 0 0.751, 0 0.683, 0 0.621. These are the PV factors at 10% rate. Now multiply cash inflow with PV factors to get PV of cash inflow. Total 82,797. This is the total of PV of cash inflow for project A. Similarly for project B, cash inflows are 35, 20, 24, 23, 18. These are the cash inflows. PV factors are 0 0.909, 0 0.826 like that. Multiply PV of cash uh, cash inflow with PV factors. We'll get PV of cash inflow. Total of PV of cash inflow 93,246 <coughs> for project B. Now we have to find out the NPV and <coughs> PI. So in this table, A project, B project. PV of cash inflow is 82,797, 93,246. This is the PV of cash inflow. And present value of cash outflow is given in the problem 1 lakh, 1 lakh minus 82,797 minus 1 lakh. You are getting negative NPV minus 17,203. Similarly, 93,246 minus 1 lakh. You are getting minus 6,754. 
that means both the projects are having negative NPV. That means both the projects should be rejected. If NPV is positive, then projects should be accepted. If it is negative, reject. Similarly, PI. Profitability index is equal to PV of cash inflow divided by PV of cash outflow. Divide. So, 82,797 divided by 1 lakh, you will get 0.83. Well, how much? 93,246 divided by 1 lakh, you will get 0.93. Again, the profitability index also, the project should be rejected. The criteria is, if the PI is more than 1, accept the project. If PI is less than 1, reject the project. Here less than 1, 0 0.83, 0 0.93, both are less. So ultimately, finally we can say, according to payback period, the better project is project B. Because project B we are having an PBP of 3.91, whereas A project it is 4.53. To recover 1 lakh rupees, it requires 4.53 years. Same to recover 1 lakh, we are getting 3.91 years. So according to PBP criteria, project B is better. But according to NPV and PI criteria, both the projects are rejected. Because NPV of both the projects are negative and PI of both the projects are less than 1. That is the conclusion. That's all. So in this video, two problems I have explained. That is sixth problem and seventh problem. Inshallah, we will continue the problems in the next video. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video. Share my channel. Give your comment. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And by the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next video.